check it out. New stack coming in hot from SpeedyB. Last year around this time, they released their F405 V3 stack that I really liked and is still one of the most affordable stacks that you can get. In this video though, we're taking a look at their new mini F405 20 by 20 stack. All right, let's do a quick unboxing, see what you get in the box. User manual. You get the ESC with the rubber grommets already installed and the flight controller. So you get M2 hardware and M3 hardware. So that's pretty cool. An XT30, a 470 UF 35 volt capacitor, a ribbon cable to connect the two boards. All right, so let's put this aside and we can focus on these two. So the ESC is a four in one 35 amp three to six S ESC. Out of the box is running BL Heli S. I'll probably be flashing Blue Jay on this so I can use RPM filtering and bi-directional D shot on this thing. Um, the motor pads and battery pads are all double sided so you can solder the wire to either side. The battery pads have a little hole in them right here and this is for the capacitor and this goes all the way through so you got holes on both sides. And then the motor pads are labeled. You have one, two, three, and four. And when you flip over the board, you can see that there's also labeled on this side so you have one two three and four so if you end up mounting this upside down or in some weird orientation you'll always be able to see which motor number you're looking at so the flight controller is an f405 and it has a lot of cool features it comes running beta flight 4.3.2 so i'll probably end up updating this to 4.4 sometime soon but for this video i'm going to just keep it on what they sent it with all of SpeedyB's flight controllers have this. Um, it has a little Bluetooth module right here. That's what this little red C3 thing is. This is the Bluetooth module. So this makes tuning the drone very easy. You can just connect to the board through your phone and you can just do all of the beta flight configuration right on your phone. It's a really nice feature that they put on all of their flight controllers. Underneath the Bluetooth piece, we have four LEDs, but when you plug a battery in, you'll see if the battery is fully charged, you'll see all four of these LEDs light up. And if the battery is like 50% done, you'll see two of them light up and it just corresponds with the battery life. So that's a nice little built-in feature. So if you forget a LiPo checker and you just need to check the overall voltage or something, you can plug it into your drone and you'll just see the LED indicators. So looking at the top and bottom of the flight controller, we have tons of available pads. There really isn't any plugs on this. The only plug is this one, and this is to hook it up to the ESC. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do soldering with this. It's not really plug and play, but you have tons of pads to work with. So looking at the top, we have a five volt, a ground, a camera, a camera control, 3v3, ground, 4v5, and then UR2. So we have RX2 and then TX2. Underneath that, we have T3 and R3, so UART3 is right underneath that. And then we have two buzzer pads, a BZ plus, a BZ minus, and then over on this end we have an S bus. So this is where you would probably hook up a camera, a receiver, and a buzzer. Now looking at the bottom row of pads, over on this side over here, we have six pads. We have a DA, CL, and then we have T6, and right underneath it we have R6, and then a ground and a 4V5. These six pads are gonna be perfect for if you wanna hook a GPS up to this. Right next to that, on the bottom, we have a nine volt ground TX and RX1, and then a ground and an S bus. So these pads are gonna be meant for an O3 air unit or a uh, Vista unit. And then above that, we have a five volt VTX, another five volt, a ground and an LED pad. So the bottom row is pretty much for a digital setup. And then the top row is for an analog. And then you have an LED pad up here. Something else that I've noticed that SpeedDB has been putting on a lot of their flight controllers lately is a barometer. And we have one right here. For those who don't know, a barometer will tell you how high up off the ground you are. And it's really useful to have something like this on something like a Cinewhoop. I do tons of FPV Cinewhoop work down in Boston. And anytime I'm flying in Boston, we pretty much always need airspace authorization to a certain height limit. Typically it's not over 200, maybe 250. And when it gets that high up, you find a building in the area that is that height and you just don't go over it. Um, that's typically how I measure the height unless I have a barometer on board. Some of my Cinewhoops have barometers on board, um, but this one, it just makes life that much easier because now I can have the barometer reading pushed straight to my OSD. And then while I'm flying, I can see exactly how high up I am. So I'm gonna be installing this stack in my Shendrone squirt. It's a slammed squirt. And you guys have seen this one before. 
I've, been, I've had this in videos. This is like my main drone that I use for a lot of the commercial fly-throughs, like supercharged and um, intercontinental, stuff like that. Those, pro those bigger projects, I like to use this. This thing's perfect for it. This thing has Beta FPV, 2204, 2400 KV motors, and Gemfan five blade props. We got a Cadex Vista in there. And I did have this stack. I have a whole review video on this. And just kind of started doing weird stuff, so I was like, eh, it's time to replace it. And at the same time, SpeedyB reached out and was like, hey, you want to do a review video on this and check out this stack? And I was like, oh snap, this thing would be perfect for my Cinewhip. So I'm going to be throwing this in here. I'll kind of show you guys how I do that. And uh, yeah, I have a couple projects coming up that I do want to use this drone on. I, I kind of want to get some flight footage for you guys, but at the same time, I'm probably going to be taking this thing down to supercharge. So I think I might get you guys some fight footage from Supercharged. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So yeah, I'm gonna be installing this in my Slam Squirt. So I got my receiver all hooked up to UART, what is this, UART 2, and then Cadex Vista is hooked up to UART 1. So I'm going to go configure this right now. You can plug it into the computer using the USB-C, or you can configure it on the SpeedyB app. I'm not going to show you guys how to do this because I've covered this in a couple videos. Um, I'll link one of my videos up in the corner. You can check that out if you want to see more in detail what you can do with the SpeedyB app. It's pretty nice. They've made it very easy. Pretty much plug in a battery, open up the SpeedyB app, and your flight controller should just pop right up. You click it, and then you basically have beta flight on your phone, and you can configure everything as you would on your computer. All right, so there you go. All installed in the drone. This is one of my main Cinewhips, so I'm excited to put the F405 Mini on here. I think it's perfect for a drone like this. Pretty straightforward install of a 20 by 20 stack. Whether you're putting this stack on a five inch drone or a Cinewhip like this, the process is gonna be very similar. I'm not gonna include any flight footage in this video because I'm still actually in the middle of tuning this drone, uh, but at the end of August, I will be taking this to Supercharge down in New Jersey to chase some go-karts and film some stuff for them. And this is going to be my primary drone. So once that footage goes live I'll link it down in the description overall seems like a solid stack though um, I have quite a few of their f405 v3 stacks that's the stack that I used in last year's budget build I also have one of their f7 stacks in one of my cine lifters and it has performed awesome I've been a big fan of speedy B's stuff and so far this is right in line with their other stacks I've tried out obviously as I use it um, I'll be able to test it more and everything and tuning this thing has been very easy if I didn't have the Bluetooth on this board I would actually have to remove these ducts Take off the top plate, remove the ducts, then plug in the USB, put it all back together, go fly it, bring it back, take those off, retune it, and just back and forth. Whereas since this has the app, I can just open up the app and connect to it and change my settings and that's that. So it makes tuning a drone like this nice and easy. So that's gonna do it for this video. Um, another solid stack from SpeedyB and the thing is only like 59 bucks. Right now in 2023, that is a pretty damn good deal for what you get in this thing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave the video a like, and if you have any questions about the SpeedyB F405 Mini, leave a comment down below.